Hi, ladies and gentlemen, it's me again, and the first video in quite a while. Uh, a couple things have been going on. Um, I've been working mostly on back end stuff, code, uh, not so much front end stuff, uh, visual, UI. But um, as you remember, if you've been following these videos, the last, uh, the last few videos that I had done focused on uh, Playmaker, <coughs> which is a fantastic product, and how I was using it to deal with the interaction of the player, which is the ship, with the world around uh, the player. One of the examples that I did have was using NGUI, or NGUI, I guess, uh, to model a uh, the, what is going to be the, the space station interface. Since that time, though, uh, I found that uh, NGUI kind of really powerful, but very difficult to work with um, compared to a lot of the other products I had started using. The momentum just kind of went into the toilet uh, because there was a lot of scripts that needed to be placed on various elements and multiple cameras and so on and so forth. So I kind of stalled uh, when I thought I had to rely on NGUI. Went back to native Unity UI for a little bit until I came upon this other um, this other um, UI solution called uh, Daikon Forge, and whoop, not what that is. Daikon Forge is another um, Unity uh, UI um, solution, uh, which is, I believe, a lot easier to use than NGUI. Now, it may not be as um, powerful, I'm not sure, uh, but one of the uh, things that it uh, allows you to do is to do pretty much true drag and drop uh, functionality with, uh, you know, in, in the scene view and also in the live game view uh, and to modify everything using the inspectors. So uh, there are very, there's very few scripts that you actually need to work with, if any at all. Uh, so my, uh, the thing that I was trying to do basically that I couldn't do with NGUI was to create a shop inventory. Now the idea behind a shop inventory, actually let me save this and let me show you what uh, Daikon Forge actually has for uh, an example about what you can do. So, um, let's see, containers, and let's see, um, nope, actually I will show you that later. Let's look at, uh, let's look at plain old data binding. Data binding is something that I'll get into later, um, but what I want to show you is this. Here, what you have is a very slick looking uh, UI that you would find in essentially any uh, online game these days. and uh, what you've got here, what this example illustrates is binding to data objects, but uh, for the purpose of this, we're just going to look at how it operates. So if we're going to um, press play, uh, we're, what we've got here is our window, data binding with expressions, okay? We've got uh, an icon here and a title. Uh, it has native support for color, inline color, your text, so you can actually uh, build a string from your database and color just the aspects you want using regular markup uh, such as um, you know hex values for your colors that you are familiar with from basic HTML and CSS which is really cool uh, so here all of this is being pulled out of uh, an array set that is set up in a single script so when you click on each of these items it, it's populating your uh, your um, your panel here so uh, very slick uh, essentially, it's it's just one script and the demo scene that relies on uh, a database from another script, and essentially that's it. Uh, there's some com components involved, but uh, very easy, very simple to do. So uh, I was very excited when I saw looked at the demo, uh, the demos for this, and uh, figured that hey, you know, let me buy this. It was on sale. Um, and see if I can get it to do what I needed it to do. So, what I've since done is on the back end I've been working on the data structures and thanks to some folks over on Google Plus 
uh, I've converted over to SQL Lite to contain the back end uh, data and using another package um, which is called uh, oh shoot I forget what it's called it's a uh, simple simple SQL um, to connect to SQL Lite and to pull my data in here so I can actually use um, very simple code uh, I can use plain old SQL uh, so what we're doing here is wow I don't know if you'll be able to see that um, anyway uh, quality wise so this is our scene manager just uh, for the demo and we are using simple SQL to connect to our uh, SQL Lite database in which I've created some uh, some dummy items into a table called MDS underscore items and the SQL statement is just selecting everything out ordering by name uh, we'll pull it out and put it into a list of uh, some custom data objects creatively called item uh, and then we will loop through the list and for each item we're going to instantiate a prefab uh, which is which I designed using Dicon Forge uh, UI uh, to represent a single item and we will be adding that uh, as a child to the shop panel so back in unity if we want to look at uh, the item entry itself let's see item entry I need to bring out my oh yes item entry okay I know what's wrong um, because this is uh, item entry is on the GUI layer uh, the GUI layer is only represented by this UI camera so in order to see it we have to pull it in here and we need to put it someplace where we can find it there it is okay so essentially this is an entry um, what we're gonna have roughly this is not obviously anywhere near final this is using a an atlas that came with Daikon Forge um, comes with some really slick looking assets but obviously we'll make our own um, we've got an icon for the item we're gonna have the item name we're gonna have the quantity the number of units at uh, the, the the price per unit and then you'll be able to push the button to purchase the item so as you can see the color of the 1000 and uh, the the price um, if we click on this item and we look over here if you can see it we actually have the markup so we're coloring uh, the, the quantity and the price yellow to make them stand out so obviously if you were doing something like an MMO uh, you know every piece of gear has a color coding to it so if you were representing gear in your inventory or you wanted to pop up a, a you know a mouse over panel you could color it based on you know the the uh, the level of the gear or the, or or the uh, you know the, the in relation to the to the character so um, you could do that in line no funkiness uh, really works well so this is a prefab and as we cycle through our items the idea being that we're going to put them into this and this is a scrollable panel with a scroll bar so we're gonna pull our item entry back out uh, so it's not stuck in here you can still see it kinda because it's it recognizes it um, but we're going to um, what we've got here is our scrollable panel with our scroll bar and the scroll bar is incredibly cool because all it is is a, uh, a container with a background and a thumb and the thumb is a sprite and it's assigned to the scroll bar the scroll bar takes care of all of its own information so the track uh, scroll is a scroll panel it's a container with a background this dark background here with the rounded corners and the thumb is a uh, scroll thumb which is an object that's here all it is is just a, um, a sliced sprite and once we set everything up the sliced sprite will act as the scrollable thumb the, the, the piece that goes up and down and um, the scroll bar uh, will contain it all now the scroll bar is associated with the scroll the inventory panel the scroll panel simply uh, by assigning the vertical scroll bar uh, as the scroll bar object so right then and there you've already got a scrollable panel now in unity 
UI, um, you'd have to do all that in code. In NGUI, you had to deal with multiple cameras and you had to design it outside, you had to design your list of items outside of the scroll panel. Um, and it was just, there were scripts everywhere that had to be in certain places and it was just causing me, I ended up spending more time trying to figure that out than I did actually trying to do anything else. But, so here, um, the items will show up here in this, uh, in, the, in the scroll panel. So we'll give it a run. And there is a delay um, as we uh, get uh, access to the database. But as you can see here, now each one of these items is added as we loop through um, the as we loop through the items that are brought back to the database. We've got one entry per item. Now I don't have anything wired up here for the names or the prices or anything along those lines. But uh, as you can see, it adds them directly into the box. Here's our thumb now that wasn't previously visible. This will actually only show up when there are items in the box and it will resize itself. So if we had half this number, this, uh, this thumb would be twice as big. If we had twice this number, it would be half as big or some logic. But as you can see, we can grab the thumb, move down and instantly scroll through all of our items until we reach the bottom. And if we want, um, I'm using the, the mouse wheel right now, and it's extremely slow. So I believe if we come to the inventory panel and we look at um, the wheel amount here, uh, it's currently set to 10, but we'll set it to, I don't know, we'll, we'll try 50 and we'll see what, do, what that does. But you, can, um, you could, if you really wanted to, add uh, the up and down arrows here. Uh, as you can see, also here in the um, in the in the console, we've got um, the debug. So we've got a list of every item that currently is in the items table, and these are the ones that populate this. Uh, so here we're on the game. So we'll just do our scroll wheel, and that doesn't really help much. So we're going to just crank that up to 100, and that's still no good. So we'll just say a thousand. I'll have, to, I'll have to take a look at it, but um, obviously, in, in this case, I don't anticipate there being, you know, hundreds of items in the inventory. Uh, at most, you're going to get a, you, you'll have a handful. But um, when it comes to looking at your own inventory or something like that, where you may have a lot of items, having a scrollable window is going to be absolutely essential. So you can just see, um, you know, the, the, the number of items that are in there. So now that this works, I need to see about getting the um, these items filled in, um, and also then uh, I would have to work around the scaling. This is actually kind of pretty massive. Uh, would be good for a mobile game or a tablet game because the the purchase button's really nice and big, but um, everything else uh, is a little bit big for um, for a, a regular desktop Windows game. So. I am, uh, that is actually two large hurdles down. The first was getting um, a back-end data management system, uh, which is taken care of using SQL Lite and Simple SQL. And uh, the more difficult part was getting that information to populate a UI uh, in such a way that you know I didn't end up spending more time figuring out how to use the UI than I did actually designing the UI. So I'm extremely pleased. Super special thanks to uh, the folks who created Daikon Forge and Simple SQL. And hopefully uh, I will have another video soon with additional progress.